Hello children, this is uh, Turkey ma'am and I'm back with the Stakeholders in Commercial Organization Part 2. In this second video, I'll be discussing about the internal and external stakeholders. When I talk about the internal stakeholders, these are the people who are directly involved in making the business run or they are those people who are the owners, the shareholders, employers and employees of the organization. So they have a greater interest in the betterment of the organization and the profits of the organization. Hence, they always look towards the positivity and work hard towards a common goal and these people are known as internal stakeholders. Now let's see what are external stakeholders. The external stakeholders contribute to the business enterprise from outside the organization and they consist of the creditors, suppliers, dealers, competitors, government, lo local community, media and the society. So when we talk about certain people, without them we cannot have a fruitful business, you know. So if we don't have our creditors or the suppliers and the competitors who are helping us and promoting us all the time, uh, it is difficult for us to run a smooth business. Hence, all these people who are there to support us and help us to reach our goal they are known as external stakeholders. Let us see the difference between the external and the internal stakeholders. So whenever you write the differences, children, remember, you have to uh, give it a columnar form where you have to write the base points. Then you have to write the main two points of differentiation that is internal stakeholders and external stakeholders as I have done. Please do the same and take down your notes. So in the first base point, we will see its position. So under internal stakeholders, they operate from inside the organization. In the very definition, it was very much clear. Second, under external stakeholders, we see they operate from outside the organization. The second point of differentiation is role. They actively participate in the management and working of the organization. Under external stakeholders, they do not participate actively in the management and working of the organization. And the third point of differentiation is constituents. So they consist of employers, owners, managers and employees. And here under external stakeholders, we will see they consist of suppliers, customers, competitors, government and general public. Hence, we see that the differentiation between internal and external stakeholders. Children, I request you to make note and uh, keep it with you. Whatever leftover notebooks you have from last year, you can use it. And if you have any questions, do write to me and I'll be answering you. That's all for today. Thank you so much. Stay at home and be safe. Thank you.